How do you like it, Tink? I like it. Ah, uh, you got class. <laughs> Very good, Christy boy. We set him up on a dock, so that'll be the first thing our customers see when they get here. You want to proofread these licenses, Groove? Oh, you bet. Terratupa Fish and Game Society, permit to dig oysters. $25. Print up a couple of hundred of these, boy. I expect a very heavy turnout. Gotcha. Tink, go with him and no spare the ink. How are we doing in the blessed event department here, chaps? We sure got to hand it to you, Groove. This racket's pure genius. Ah, uh, cut it out. You'll give me a big head. Besides, I was a sucker that bought these phony pearls from those CBs, wasn't I? But I got a moral obligation to get us off the hook. Yeah, but Groove, this is beautiful, beautiful. We hold a seafood sale for the guys at the base. Somebody chomps into one of these little beauties. And the pearl rush is on. <laughs> And they say, we sneaky. some more of these babies salted. Well, good. Now start tossing them back close to the shore so they won't be too hard to find. Christy and me will head main side and start peddling these little come-ons. Hey, Groove, the skip's coming. I guess the gin game's over. Wait. Dash those things in the drink. Hide those signs. Go ahead, help them, will you? Now try and look alive. Look honest, huh? Well, Arulu, seems like it just wasn't your day. Mm, he must have got up on wrong side of money, pal. <laughs> Chuck, you want to check the damages, buddy? Right, Skip. <laughs> Watch him. Him got shifty eyes. Oh. <laughs> What that? Ah. Uh-uh. Uh-huh. Uh-uh. <clears throat> uh-uh. <laughs> oh, hi, Skip. Uh, greetings, oh great and noble chief. What you Garnops got going this time? <laughs> Garnops? <laughs> this is strictly Pantyani stuff. Just thought we'd deliver a couple of bushels of oysters over to the guys on the main base. Well, they, uh, you guys uh, think you find any pearls? Forget it. Huh? Pearls? Us? <laughs> What are we going to do with pearls? You're kidding, eh? But forget it. Lagoon used to be loaded with pearls. But that hundred years ago, Karatonga take care of all that. Kara who? Yeah, Karatonga. Sure, the, 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 the serpent of the lagoon. Yeah, I heard about that. It's an island legend. When him see people make profit and not cut him in, him flip lid, punish whole tribe, take away all pearls forever. Karatonga, terrible monster. Also, big fink. Sorry. Well, see you, Skip. Gotta pedal these while they're still fresh. Christy! Carpenter, do you realize what's going on back home while we're out here fighting this miserable war? The whole world is getting rich. That's what's going on. This is the third letter that my wife has written me telling me how all my civilian friends are cleaning up. Oh, I tell you. But, sir, at least you have the satisfaction of knowing that you're doing an important job. No satisfaction, satisfaction. You ever try and buy a nagging wife a mink coat for satisfaction? <laughs> what is going on out there now? What is that? Why, why, why is that? It's a couple of McHale's men, sir. They, they seem to be setting up some kind of a stand to sell something. Sell something. You see that? Everybody has got something going for them but me. Everybody is setting up their own little monopoly. <laughs> Well, I've just had about enough of it, Carpenter, that's all. I have had enough of it. If Teddy Roosevelt could bust trust, so can I. Bully for you, sir. Oh, and, yeah. sir, bye, bye. here's your big stick. Yeah, my big <laughs> stick. On to San Juan Hill. <laughs> hey there, sailor. Tempt your palate with the food of kings at peasants' prices. Uh-huh. Caught you right in the act, didn't I? Huh? So this is your little racket this week, is it? You're opening a seafood speakeasy. Racket? Captain, this ain't no racket. Why, this is practically a, a charity operation. We've got so many oysters in our lagoon, we're just sharing the wealth. And of course, if it bothers you, we can take it right back to our island. Right, Groove? Sure. Ah, yeah, yeah, you don't. These oysters are all I need. They'll put you right in a cooler. 
Ah, good afternoon, Captain. You bet it's a good afternoon, Mikhail. I'm sending these two cutthroats to the brig. To the brig? On what charges? The charge is profiteering on a military installation. That's the charge. They're selling oysters. Illegally. Oh, no, wait a minute, sir. That's not illegal. I mean, after all, it's perfectly acceptable to sell oysters in any month that has an R in it. And this is June. <laughs> hey, wait a minute. You guys are out of season. I'm gonna kill him one of these days, Mikhail. Yes, Where was I? You get me, sir. Oh, I'm just sick and tired of your men disobeying my orders. Oh, speaking of orders, Captain, uh, didn't Admiral Rogers send specific orders that the 73 should test those new torpedoes today? What does that got to do with this? Why, 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 why? That? Seeing as how I can't uh, make a test without a full crew, uh, you'd better call up the Admiral, sir, and tell him that you can't carry out his orders. Guess we got you there, Wally. <laughs> Shut up. I'm gonna submit the blackmail. You are uh, today, hook dick. Oh, what's the use? Get this pitch man out of here. Out, out, out. Yes, Come on, boys. <laughs> Put those down. These oysters are going right back where they came from. In a drink. Now get out of here. Out, yes, out, sir. out. Bye bye, Captain. I'll dispose of these oysters right away, sir. Die, ah, you'll dispose of nothing. Take these to the steward over at the officers' club. Have him fix them a la Rockefeller. If I can't be a millionaire, at least I can eat like one. Huh? Yes, sir. All right. Sir. Who do you think is going to carry the other one? Oh, I'm sorry, sir. Sorry. <laughs> A toast, sir, to you, and a bright financial future after the war. Oh, don't try and bolster up my spirits. After the war, I don't think there's going to be any money left. <laughs> what do we got here? This is on the half shell for a starter here. Slippery little devil, son. Uh, uh, fire out. A fire out. What's the trouble, sir? Did you, did you bite into a piece of shell? I don't know why, Bill. Uh, uh, knock the whole thing out of it. It's a pearl, sir. But well, that's a one in a million shot. <laughs> that's a two in a million shot. <laughs> a three in a million shots. <laughs> the cat. Mikhail and his pirates, they've been selling this stuff for seafood. They've been, they've been getting rid of a fortune down there without knowing it. <laughs> hey, you know what this means? That there are probably a lot more pearls than the rest of the oysters. I'll have the chef open them and check, sir. <laughs> Don't be ridiculous. Don't be ridiculous. Do you realize that when Sutter found all that gold in California, it would have all been his if he'd have just kept his big mouth shut. <laughs> What would you suggest, sir? Just to keep your big mouth shut. Watch it down there in McHale's lagoon, just waiting to be plucked. What are you waiting for, boy? On the double? Yes, sir. <laughs> oh, thank you. Thank you, thank you. It's so nice to know that you're on my side. At last. <laughs> You're working very slowly, Elroy. Shake a leg, shake a leg. Mikhail will be back soon. Oh, sir, it's just my uniform. I don't want to get it too wet, sir. Oh, never mind your uniform. With all the pearls we're going to find here, we buy a hundred uniforms. Die, boy, die, die, die. Yes, sir. <laughs> Looks like we got company. Uh-oh. It's old Lead Bottom, and he's shucking oysters. Sounds. He must have found those phony pearls we planted. Oh. Huh? All right, grow out with it, and fast. What phony pearls? The ones we spiked those oysters with. Perfectly harmless business venture, but he wasn't the one who was supposed to... Harmless? You call it harmless when we end up with Binghamton in our lap? Dog, got it. Now we're gonna have to get rid of me. We have to tell him the truth to get to get out of it. Tell him the truth, Skip. Why a thing like that could ruin our reputation. Oh, get out of here. Come on, let me take over over here. Hi, sir. Hi. I'm going 
go to buy the yacht club. Oh. <laughs> Mikhail, what are you doing here, Mikhail? What do you want? What, 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 what is it? What? Well, uh, we just came back from the torpedo test run, sir. And besides, we live here, remember? Yeah, <laughs> Madam Kale, I'm Ensign Parker. <laughs> Shut up, I know who's who. You two, that's a disgrace, you're sneaking up on me like that. Oh, well, we're sorry, sir. Uh, but look, sir, I, I wanted to talk to you about uh, those pearls that you and Carpia... Uh, uh, pearl, what pearls? I don't know anything about any pearls. I don't know if pearl was. Well, they aren't very easy to spot, sir. Little white things, you make necklaces and little beads out of them and everything. Well, now look, Captain, uh, if you're not looking for pearls, then what's with all the oysters? The oysters? Well, uh, no, there's no oysters here. I don't have any oysters. But these, these are shells. No oysters here at all. Just the shells. I'm cleaning up this place. You left it such a mess with all these shells around here. I'm going to take over this island. I'm going to turn the whole thing into a, uh, an officer's recreation area. Yes, that's it. An officer's recreation area? <laughs> Captain Binghamton, sir, look at the size of these. They ought to have an no, enormous no, no, car. Good, good, sir, good, hey. good, hey. good, good, good work, boy. Ah, the filthy things. I can give a person gangrene. Oh, come on, Captain, knock it off, will you? You've been suckered into this. My men salted all these oysters. There isn't one real pearl in our lagoon. Well, I've got news for you. This is not your lagoon. You've been banished, evicted, tossed out. Now, from now on, you can just set up camp on the, the, the north side of the island. In the swamps? Captain, you can't do that to us. I can't, huh? Well, I've got a little eagle here on my collar that says that I can. Uh, get your nose out of my eagle. Come on, get moving. That's an order, all of you. Pack your things and get out. Out, out, out. Come on, Chuck. You heard the nice captain. Bye-bye, sir. It's not a very nice eagle. <laughs> you hear that, Carpenter? <laughs> Trying to tell me that there aren't pearls on this island? <laughs> what do they call these? Marbles? <laughs> Don't stand there shivering. Dive, boy. Dive, dive, dive. <laughs> I may even let you keep one for yourself. <laughs> Come on, fool. Jerry, have that coffee, will you? Hey, Chuck, watch what you're doing, boy. Boy, what a way to live. This is murder. I wouldn't send my worst enemy's kids to a camp like this. <laughs> what? What's going on here? What are you doing, Mr. Parker? Oh, I'm sorry, Tigger, but there was this gigantic mosquito. Hey, banned at 10 o'clock. Come on, knock it off, all of you. You're a fine bunch to be griping. You wouldn't be here in the first place if it wasn't for your larcenous souls. Ah, uh, don't rub it in, Skip. I'm so miserable, I'm ready to give up chiseling for life. <laughs> Fooch, what are you trying to do, poison us? If you think coffee bad, wait till it's right there. IPW, not Boy Scout. Oh, that settles it. Come on, Chuck. We're going to go back to Binghamton and let him know we've just begun the fight. Yeah, Come on. Right. Will you put that silly thing away? Come on. <laughs> Yeah, 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 yes, 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 yeoman. You can sign those requisitions in my absence. I don't care. Stop calling me down here. I don't want to be disturbed. I'm out here on a, a top secret mission. Now, don't bother me anymore. Uh, deeper, boy. Deeper. Go out deeper, Elroy. <laughs> uh, deeper the water, the bigger the pearl, you know. <laughs> Greetings, oh great lead bottom. Come for a little gin rummy rematch with uh, Mikhail. Where is he? I don't know, Mikhail. Oh, uh, uh, Mikhail doesn't live here anymore. He doesn't live. Anyway, beat it. Now, you're trespassing on Navy property here. Oh, yeah. I see you on oyster cake, too, huh? It seemed like all of a sudden everybody around here got hots for shellfish. Oh, yeah, yeah, hots for shellfish. Yes, yes, it's, it's the thing everybody's doing these days. They're, they're uh, delicious little morsels. Hey, <laughs> Oh, that's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. Oh, goodbye. Nice to see you. Hurry for that, Jay. Captain Bingham, sir. Sure. Sure, look at this. This is the biggest Shut pearl your I found so far. Curve your tongue. Curve your tongue. He's a sick boy, Chief. A very sick boy. He's always imagining things. Go imagine somewhere else, Elroy. Imagine. <laughs> you can Jim, just imagine this pearl. You ready for happy farm. Now you wait a minute. Whatever goes on around here is my business. This is my base. I'll do whatever I want around here. You beat it. You banish. You get out of here. <laughs> what you did, you knocked me right on my oyster there. Oh. Holy smoke. Oh, come back. Curse off lagoon. <laughs> oh, my 
You understand that? Oh, right, no, right, no, right, no. right, right. This lagoon belongs to me, 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 me. Huh? I, landlord, according to treaty, you trespass. So I and for half the loot. Fondo, fondo. Nobody's getting in on half of my property. Nobody at all. Stop diving, Elroy. Stop diving. But listen, you lay a hand on me, that's going to mean war. You understand that? I not Snook Binghamton, not need to kill you to get pearls, huh? Just tell old buddy Admiral Rogers that you break treaty. How'd that grab you, huh? Just tell him that you caused whole tribe to revolt. I revolt? He, he, he wouldn't do that. That's not cricket. Not cricket, but pretty good blackmail, huh? What do you think Admiral would say if you caused whole native uprising for a couple lousy pearls? A couple of lousy... Have a, a second front here on Terra Tupa? You, you wouldn't... Uh, you would for a couple of years. Uh, how about you, Rulu? Hold, buddy. I think on second thought, I uh, I could use a partner. Okay, let's bounce him. We make deal. Mind your boy. Oh, I wonder what those two are so chummy about. Looks like they're closing some kind of a deal. Yeah, must be pretty important. They're sealing it with a kiss. Come on. Oh, hey, Mikhail, what are you doing here? I told you to get out of here. Well, I came over to have a few words with you, Captain, but I didn't expect to find my gin rummy pigeon here. Ex pigeon, Mikhail. Got better racket now. We in business together. Orulu. Bring plenty divers tomorrow. We go big time. Now, wait a minute, Rulo. Don't count your oysters before they're hatched. According to naval regulations, a combat unit can't be evicted without... Without written orders. There they are, Mikhail. You read them and weep. I'll read them on your way back to the swamp. Oh, no. Oh, look, Captain, I'm telling you. The only pearls in that lagoon are the ones that Gruber put there. And there is 40 the ones from the fire. Don't start that again. Get out. Oh, pardon me. Out, out, out. Oh, there must be somebody around here to listen to reason. Don't pay any attention to him. He's a very neurotic man. All right, Snow White, get back to your seven dwarfs. And take Dopey there with you. Dopey? Oh, wait a minute, Grumpy. Curb your tongue. <laughs> Got work to do, right, partner? Anything you say, Wally. Hey, hey Skipper. Hey, how'd you make out? When do we start packing and moving? We don't. Binghamton just made it final, boys. Uh, well, maybe it ain't as bad as it looks. After all, Lieutenant Carpenter's got to get tired of diving sometime. Not a chance. Binghamton just made a deal with the Rulu, and by tomorrow there'll be more divers in our lagoon than, than at Coney Island on the oh. 4th of July. Oh. The Rulu? How'd they get together? Those two guys will never get along. Hey, you're wrong. We saw them. They were kissing. What? Hey, Fooch, what's to eat? For supper, we have sea ration on single. <laughs> Sorry, I burnt everything else. Ah, it figures. Hey, Bird, you better snag out of something pretty soon or we'll all starve to death. Not a chance, Skip. I haven't had a bite all... Uh, hey, hold the phone! I think I got some! Yeah, yeah, yeah! Chris, give me hold a hand! It, hold it, man. Come on. Yeah. Yeah. It feels like a whale! Yeah. Hey, it is a whale! <laughs> Mercy blows! Yeah! What whale? That's a two-man sub boy! Grab your rifles! Come on! Come on! Keep pulling! Keep pulling! You're gonna beat yeah. in a minute! Here we go! Around this way! Come on! Here we go! Come on! Joint's empty. Yeah. yeah. They must have abandoned ship. Hey, how about that? We got our own two-man sub. Hey, Skip, hop in and take a look. What, me fit down through that little hatch? <laughs> oh, well, here, let me try it, Skip. Parker's always come through in a tight spot. All right, now take it easy now. Yeah. Easy does it. Okay. Hey, look at all these buttons. Hey, Chuck, stay away from those buttons. This baby might be carrying a torpedo. <laughs> I knew our luck had a change. Man, we can make a fortune with this thing. All that, all that. Skip, think of the possibilities. We could hook it up a bit and start our own sideshow. See the terrifying monster. Two bits for the biggest thrill and chill of your life. Bring the kitty. All right, all right. Enough with those ideas. Come on, you guys. Hey, Gruber, what you just said. I know, I know, Skip. Forget it. Forget it, my foot. It's a great idea. Boys, who's to say that we can't turn this little doll into the biggest monster that ever walked in two shoes, huh? You mean we scared the trunks off those pearl grabbers? Skipper, you're beautiful. Beautiful. 
The ruler was just superstitious enough to fall for it. This could put all that bottom out of business for good. Well, who's going to operate this thing? Well, now, you've been doing okay up to here. Chuck, the USS Sea Monster is your baby. <laughs> oh, boy. Will Mother ever be proud? Laugh. My own command. <laughs> I said put them in the pot. I didn't mean yours, <laughs> There they are, the Pearl Tycoons. Yeah, it looks like a ruler has every good diver in the tribe working. Yeah, well, something tells me there's about to be a sudden rush on the unemployment line. All right, boys, this is it. Paratonga time. Now make it look good. And remember, aim carefully. I don't want anything to happen to our favorite sea serpent. <laughs> Thank you, Hootness. Then we got here in time to warn you. I'll knock it off again. I'm sick and tired of your tricks. You call that a trick, Captain? Look at that. <laughs> Open fire, man. We've got to stop that monster. Oh, look here, man. Give him everything you got. No you skip. It can't be killed. Bar one. You wasting bullets, Mikhail. That no ordinary monster. That Karatonga. Karatonga. Who that place is this Karatonga? Karatonga, you heard you know. For the sea serpent, sir! Sea serpent, it sounds more like a cocker spaniel. For the bad case of indigestion, this is the most ridiculous thing I've ever... What ridiculous? Him just hungry. Not eat greedy people for over a hundred years. Yes, come on, Jack. We better evacuate you out of here before it's too late, sir. My pearl bed's got on your life. Wait a minute, you Where are you going? Wait a minute, my beautiful pearl. Sacrifice the sea god. Maybe him fight it out with Karatonga. Now I bug out of here. The sacrifice your half, you big slob. <laughs> Fire three. Captain, Captain, what are you doing? Huh, I'm a bucket brigade. My pearls are barbecue. Captain, the monster's getting closer. I don't care how close your monster gets. I'm. <laughs> oh, that's your monster, is it? Parker, I'll have your gold bar for this. <laughs> Oh, no! Chuck must have hit one of the switches. Come on! Let's get out of here! My pearls! My Come on! Pearls. My pearls. What? My pearls. God, I'm throwing a finished bankrupt. Sorry, sir. Uh, the monster and I both apologize. <laughs> Why is it me? Why is it always me? <laughs> Let this be a lesson to you, cutthroats. If it wasn't for the Admiral's citation for capturing that two-man sub, I'd have you all doing time for planting those phony pearls. But, Captain, we, we told you that they weren't real pearls. Oh, shut up. All that time wasted, my dreams shattered, my bank account right back where it started from. Uh, what do you think, partner? Got a uh, little present for you. A bill for five hundred dollars for what? What, 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 what is this? You think I some kind of snook? Let my divers work for nothing, huh? You pay up now, or maybe you like I send bill to Admiral Rogers. 
<laughs> now, if you want to scream, Captain, you go right ahead. We will understand. So say now, scream later. <laughs> Thank you.